So when you have any quests or heli crashes or you, you go to an event, you can do like I'm going to show you here, run in there. If you've got the skills or you've got a little bit more experience and gameplay, um, you can go and take on the zombies as they come at you and then work your skills this way. If you're new to the game and you don't have the experience, but you still want to be able to get the experience or get the events, I'll show you how you can use an exploit of the game where the actual the zombies, they'll only go as far as a certain boundary and then they'll stop. They won't come any further forward and then you can just pick them off one at a time. And the way we do this is we get into the area and we start aggroing the enemy, the zombies, the dogs or whatever is in the area. It could be the uh, uh, mutants. And then what we do is we then start running. This is kind of a, a trickier one because I've got to try and go to where the boundaries are, where the trees are. Some of the areas where the crashes are or other scenes, there's a lot open. You'll see this in the, in the uh, rest of the video. So we'll just take, pop off a couple of them. I want to keep them aggroed. I want to keep them following. Sometimes in the sun, you can see their shadow behind you so you know when they're going to stop. So that's what I'm looking for now. I'm looking for where they're going to stop. I'm also listening to when if the if the volume of the voice sort of goes lower because I know that they've got to their boundary there. So as you see, this is their boundary. They're not going to come any further forward. So you just select whichever weapon you want to use. So if one of the events says use a certain weapon to get a better skill, then you just go as close as you want to, not too close, and then just pop them off one at a time or automatic fire. It's your personal preference. Now we can run back to the heli and loot the site and get all the rewards without worrying about any other zombies or anything around or there may be the odd stragglers you know but it's going to be a lot easier to handle than the whole horde coming at you. The next clip we'll show you is actually on the roadside and you'll see how I've accumulated all of the, the zombies in one location and just take them out one at a time. I like to take single aim shots but I'll speed this up just so you can see um, the footage without having to wait the extra time. You could go automatic and then it'll get killed a lot faster. now so let's go and take out the mutant Okay, we've got Mr. Angry upset. Uh, ACOG AR barrel. I'll do the drum mag on here. Okay, so where's the boundary? <laughs> Now taking out the mutants depends on what weapon you have. It can be about 110, maybe 120 rounds you're going to need to take them out. I like doing just a um, single aim shot just so that each shot counts to get the maximum amount of effects. You could go in there all guns blazing if you've got lots of ammo and then just take them out sooner. But all you do is you're isolating him, get them away from the herd or get them to the boundary and then just slowly but surely picking them off using whichever weapon you've got and you may have one of those quests where become an elite sniper and then use a certain weapon and then just keep using that weapon each time when you get into this situation to get the rewards get the experience 
and you know get that kill. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. And stay down. I'm Grumpy No Friends. If you found this helpful, please check out my channel, GNF Geek Stuff, and consider liking and subscribing.